Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be organizing my 892 nail polishes. Now I have um, right here a couple of Helmers and that's where I keep all of my nail polish and then there's like a couple drawers for nail art as well. I have already organized them but I'm gonna show you some before shots. And I just wanna say I don't usually let it get this crazy. Um, I mean, it's always crazy because I have a lot of nail polish but I don't let it get this disorganized because I usually put everything back as soon as I'm done with it. I, you know, as soon as I get something new, it finds its own spot and all that. But I just had so much come in so quickly that I just got a little overwhelmed. I didn't have enough time to really put everything away. And since I started doing like YouTube videos too, like it was kind of hard because I would pull stuff out and then I would need to pull out stuff for like three videos at a time because I was going to film everything all at once. And then by the time I had to put everything away, it was like time for bed. So it's just been a little bit of a mess. But as you can see, it is clean behind me. I'm going to show you the before shots and then we will speed through the organization. So here's my nail polish storage here. We have two Helmers. You can see they're kind of alphabetically sorted by brand. Then we've got some like miscellaneous stuff here, like in this Helmer on the bottom drawers. Over here we have some of my lighting, um, just a ring light, a uh, light box, and then I have my little like arm here that holds my camera and I can swivel it around. It's just my phone. And then down here, I took everything off the top of the Helmers. We have tons of stamping plates, um, some of my Holo Taco collection boxes, just some random, oh crap, some random bottles of stuff, nail polish remover wipe. This is awful. I hate this thing. Um, just some of my tools. We need to go through some of these brushes, see what I'm going to use. More stamping plates. Um, we just did some reviews of these three advent calendars. Just some remove plus. I got to throw that up on top because I use that so frequently. In this box here, we have just a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of stuff that has been displaced um, and all my new polishes that I hauled at the end of this or at the end of November beginning of December we need to find places for them these are new swatch sticks that need to be organized into my swatch sticks this is a bunch of swatch sticks that don't fit into my swatch sticks box this is my swatch sticks box. Here's all the swatch sticks in this top one. And then in the bottom one, we have just a bunch of stuff that I haven't really used. I think it's a bunch of acrylic stuff. I inherited a bunch of stuff and I need to go through it, see if I'm going to ever use it. If not, I can get rid of it, give it away, whatever. And then just to show you on the side, I do have a bunch of little pots of glitter just running along the top that I never use. So that's kind of the layout. What we're going to do is organize the top here just get everything up there and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and then you and I will go through all these drawers together and reorganize the polishes all right so here we are we're going to be organizing together my 892 nail polishes um I think this is going to be a kind of two-day job I'm going to splice all the footage together we'll see but I do have to go to work today it's Black Friday and I don't know if afterwards I'm going to want to come back and finish this or if I'm just going to want to finish it up tomorrow. So we'll see. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to go in alphabetical order by brand. So I think we're going to be starting with A England here. And then within the brands, we're going to go in color order. And I have my specific order here. We're going to go red, pink, orange, yellow, green, teal, blue, indigo, purple, brown, tan, gold, silver, black, gray, and white. And the reason I wrote this down is because... Once I get to this area, I forget where I put brown versus like the metallics versus these here. So I just want to have a specific reference because I always second guess my own brain. So that's why we have this. So without further ado, let us start sorting.
All right, so as you can see, everything's a little bit cleaner now. Uh, on the top here, let's take a closer look. You can see that I have a bunch of removers here, stamping plates, we've got our circ colors box, all my brushes and nail art tools here. I have a lint roller. I use this for um, stamping, to clean my stamper, to clean the skin around my nails, etc. I have a little basket of cotton balls and a little basket of like all the nail art tools I use every single time I do a manicure. So I can just grab these and take these over to the table where I do my nails really quickly. And then if we come down here, um, in this box are all my completed swatch sticks. They need to be completely reorganized, which we will do together. All the acrylic stuff is still in this bottom piece. I haven't gone through that. I don't know what I'm going to be looking for in that yet, so I'm just going to hold off. And then in this big box here, I have just all my like extra like cotton balls or um, gradient sponges, things that I have like doubles of, I keep in there um, for storage purposes. And then if I need to refill anything, they'll go, you know, from there into wherever drawer they need to go into. As for the drawers, I've taken off all the labels and made new ones because that's going to change soon. I think that some of the like alphabetical like letters are going to shift. So I'm just going to remake all of those. And then in the bottom two drawers here, I did already organize because this stuff's a little bit more finicky for me. I'm a little bit more specific. So let's go through those two drawers really quick. Okay, so this here is my nail art drawer. We've got a bunch of swatch wheels here, some little sponges for gradients. We've got all my stamping tools, so just some clear jelly stampers. I've got some solid ones that I don't use as much. I use them more for like something that I'm going to create a decal with so I can stamp it over the, the mat. And then I don't really need to be as precise, so you know I just have these there. I've got a couple stamping heads that I keep in this little container because these jelly things can get really sticky, so I don't want them to get ruined. We've got a bunch of scrapers here for the stamping plates. I have a whole bunch of striping tapes in various colors. My three new glitter pots that I got from Cirque in the advent calendar. Over here we have some nail art wheels. They've just got a bunch of different like types of glitters and things like that. We've got a bunch of silver here. Some freezable fruit shapes. Uh, what else do we have? This is like a... What is this? A luster foil. And then we also have the... We also have this like metallic transfer foil that I got from somebody. And then this little nail art wheel is too big <laughs> to fit in here. So I just set it off to one side. But it's just got a bunch of like colorful rhinestones. And then here's just a bunch of like swatch sticks that I like to put, you know, the label on. I put the polish name, the color, and then I paint two coats of the polish on here. And then I put them in with my swatch sticks for my reference. Oh, and then this little guy here, this has, um, this is like a cuticle solvent that I like to put in these littler jars because the big bottle it comes in, it just spills everywhere if I don't put them in here. And then just some nail oils that I either, you know, keep over here. I put them in my pocket. I've got them everywhere. So those are always available to me. This is the drawer where I keep all my treatments, like base and top coats, that sort of thing. So right on top, you can see we have this hand mask. I've been meaning to use that. So it's like a couple gloves supposed to soften up your hands. Um, I have my nail art mats in here because I just had nowhere else that I could put them. So I just stuck them in here. They they really make you know clean up so much easier. So I really like these. I just have a bottle of nail lacquer thinner. This is really helpful if your polishes or like any of your top coats are getting really thick because this is gonna make it so that you can use up just every last drop. And then I have um, a single plastic glove. I don't know why. And we have a tea bag that I use for like the tea bag trick. You can see I've cut some off of this already. Just anytime your nail starts to like break, you can use a tea bag to help repair it, keep it alive for a little bit longer. Then we have all our base and top coats. Now this I'm going to add a couple more too soon once my Zoya order for Black Friday comes in. I just bought, I think, their glossy top coat and then I think I got a matte top coat as well. 
And then I just have a couple peel off. This is, yeah, this is peel off too. Um, we've got some quick dry drops. I almost used up this Ella and Mila one that I got over the summer. So I actually repurchased it because this is such a great tool. I always thought, you know, all of the quick dry top coats, they're perfectly fine. But once you combine the two, it's like your nails are dry in like 12 seconds. It's amazing. So, oh yeah, I did buy the Zoya ones too. So those should be coming. I can kind of check and see which one's better. These ones seem to actually moisturize around your cuticle when you use them. So I do like these actually, and they smell really good. I've got a cuticle oil, the apricot SE one. I just use this like before I'm going to take swatch photos because it's easier to brush on around the nail. I've got this latex free, um, I got this latex free Manny mask. It's a cuticle protector. So instead of liquid latex, I can use this because I have a latex allergy. And then I just have a clear polish here. I use this to make um, decals with when I'm stamping. And then this is just a like a weird base coat. Um, I have a few polishes by then that you're supposed to use this with because the polish I don't know if it just sits better on this. I have to do some research on that. I don't know too much about it. And then I also have this cuticle remover. Uh, from I also have this cuticle remover from Cure London Town. This is something I got for free and like a, a gift with purchase at Ulta. It was $18 retail. So I probably won't buy this again because the Blue Cross one that I used that I showed you in the previous drawer in the little bottle that one works just fine and you can buy like a bottle like I said like this big and I don't even think it's cost as much as this so I won't repurchase that but you know I'm glad I got it for free and then back here I have the Zoya Naked Manicure Jelly Cure system it's just a little three step a three or four step system it's got like the little lamp you get the like rescue drops, you rub these onto your nail, then you use this repair base, and then finally you top it with this clear gel, and then you cure it. And then it is a, a wipe gel, so you have to use this here. And they also give you some lint-free wipes, and they give you a bunch of like tin foil, um, like rectangles, so that you can soak it off really quickly. And they gave you like just these smaller cotton balls that you can wrap up. It's a really nice system. I like it a lot. I got it for free. Actually, I got two for free. So I have a backup one um, in case the lamp goes off. But it was nice to try. It was kind of my first introduction to gel. So I'm glad I have that in there too. think of my organization this is what I have found works for me over the course of a couple of years and just especially when I've accumulated so much at this point I just really like having the the drawers I like to do it alphabetical by brand and then within that brand go by color I know that not all my stuff looks like it's in perfect color order but you know it's just kind of how you perceive it yourself so it's like the way that I perceive the rainbow you know within like the scope of a red shade and the way that you might perceive it is a little bit different but for me I remember kind of the general order I don't know how I remember but I do remember um, that I place those polishes within that brand so it's not difficult for me to find if I'm like oh I want to wear 
trying to glaze four leaf clover, I can pretty much immediately find where I put it in the greens. It's not that difficult for me. But anyways, I am going to do my swatch sticks next because those are probably in worse of a, a situation than my nail polishes ever were. And we'll do that together too. So probably in the new year, you'll see that video go up. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know how you organize your polishes and we can chat in the comments. I'll see you later. Bye.